Cheers. Cheers. Opportunity. What for? Put a senior. You got it. Bring it to England. Yeah. Oh, you recognise this location because we've been lazy and we're doing the next video in the same location. Well, because we've got so, so much to do. do. This is really the first day that we, maybe not you, but me, is, uh, well, me. Wait. Today is really the only day that Bro has really had as a relaxation day. Um, I'm finding it hard. I want to get up and do something. We've been playing ping pong all day. We have. He won 10 games to nine. To nine. That's how much ping pong we've been playing today. A little bit, a little bit mad. But um, we've left the video. Um, See you later, Cusco. Yeah, we left Cusco. Got the bus. Uh, Prue hop. Olivia hop. Yeah, now usually we try and stick away from the tourist options. So don't do agencies, but we can avoid it. But um, it came to our attention a company called you know Prue why. hop. We're not advocating for proof hop or anything, so Bolivia we're hop. not sellouts. Apart from, what do you mean? Oh, what's this? Shit. Oh no, it's just I don't know. a Portocino. Yeah, no, I mean it's a really delicious beer, but yeah. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not getting any money from them. <laughs> um, so yeah. we've got Peru hop. Um, the reason we did this because they kind of do like an order. You get on the bus, they take you to some of the places you want to go along the way, and then they take you straight into the Bolivia. Uh, to La Paz, so all the border crossings kind of sorted. By this point, I think we've done all of Cusco, but we just wanted to kind of uh, relax and have all that stuff taken care of. And, and we're um, also leaving Peru. Yeah, so we've done five weeks in Peru. We really, really had a good time in Peru. I mean, there's a lot of hiking and uh, a lot of uh, so we had a good time. things to see. Some of the things. What are you doing? I hated my track. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't really. But I had bruised hips, purple hips. You know, the bruised tips that we always talk about. Bruised tips. Adam. Um, the first stop from Cusco to La Paz um, was to visit some uh, floating islands um, just off Puno. Bearing in mind that this, what was it? We got woken up at yeah, half past five in the morning. Class. I'm not a morning person, to be honest. It's I'm nice. really not a morning really person. Grouchy. And uh, it was half past five in the morning. We stopped off and had this breakfast in this tiny little, uh, well, I can't, sort of restaurant, eatery with stale bread and some jam. I had three lots of some stale bread. really jam. disgusting Brilliant. cop you did. Stuffed his face. Um, well, it, was, it didn't matter anyway. It was part of, the, part of the trip, but it didn't really put me in a good mood for it anyway. I wasn't that enthusiastic about doing this, but I hate tours. I hate the, the I don't hate tourism, but I hate uh, the way that these tours and uh, the agencies run uh, these tours with all of the, you know, tourist gringos. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like people put on a show for the tourists that come, and uh, the floating islands in Puno are ex an exact example of that. No, um, yeah. You could spend like a couple of days and you can go out to some different islands that are kind of less tourist heavy. We were interested in seeing the floating islands, but we, had, we were sort of running out of time a little bit and we wanted to get to Bolivia. But we, to make sure we saw these floating islands, this was kind of a good opportunity to stop. Yes, it was going to be really touristy and horrible, but it, it'd be good. It, it was interesting. Hola. All that. Hello guys. Yeah. Um, so we uh, just arrived in Puno. We're doing the uh, floating islands. Um, just a quick stop off. Unfortunately, um, we're doing it tourist style. Well, uh, I think I think I think I think it's all tourist style. Like you can, I think it's very difficult to not do. It. Like these people live on these islands, but I think they live here because tourists come here. Yeah. But well, they used to live on these islands, but now they live on them because the tourists come. I mean, it's quite extensive though. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. You can see like the islands over there and it's, it's all put together pretty well. And it's actually, uh, uh, it's very well built and everything. And they've got solar panels on their houses, which I find um, <laughs> quite cool. Um, yeah, like it's pretty cool how it's all made. Like, I've never seen anything like this. No. It'd be nice to have like some time on your own here. So we woke up at half past five this morning from uh, and, and had some brekkie, which was 
Uh, it was probably a bit early to have any breakfast at the time, but you polished off three breads, didn't you? So oh, yeah, maybe, I was ready for it, yeah. Maybe not too early for you. Had a nice little kip, and then off you go. <laughs> Start the day. The sun is rising. Yeah. Go with it. And who doesn't enjoy a boat ride in the morning anyway? We've got to get to the, uh, see the sun sunrise. Yeah, it was nice, actually. Uh, so hopefully Brody's got some pictures of that. Yeah. You can slot in? Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, and then we're going to finish off our journey, which isn't too long. It's about... You've got to cross the border Two next hours. to Bolivia, so that'd be good. Nice new country, and then we go to Copacabana where we're going to spend a bit more time looking at the lake. Spend it, yeah. Lake Titicaca. Yep. Which is Puma Red. Yeah. Titi, Puma, Caca, Red. <laughs> okay. See ya. Bye. You and everyone, enjoys a, everyone enjoys a boat ride. And we did have oh, the sun. Yeah. We had the sunrise. <laughs> um, yeah, so we. Find uh, what? I find a third one. <laughs> yeah, like something, something random. Completely. <laughs> Maybe the scary witch doesn't. Um, <laughs> so, um, delicious. Just when we got to the the floating islands, like even thinking about it, it just makes me uh, mm. really uncomfortable. And uh... <laughs> yeah. So well, then we went on to uh, Copacabana. So we did the border crossing. Really easy. Oh, really easy, yeah. yeah. Uh, made some new friends. And um, I didn't need my yellow fever certificate. As previously thought. I haven't needed it at all. I've had my yellow fever at Jab, but I've lost my yellow fever. Well, you need it for your It was my constant worry. I'm not going to Brazil, so it doesn't matter. Um, no, no. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was that was my main worry of, of crossing. I was just going to sort of wing it. But uh, I just got through. It was really easy, really easy. So we went to Copacabana. Uh, Coca Copacabana is um, another uh, town on the Bolivian side of Lake Titicaca. So um, there was an opportunity for us to go to the Isla del Sol, um, which is kind of a four hour boat ride. Um, unfortunately, there's a dispute going on at the moment. Um, there's a north and south island um, that you can go visit. And on the north island, there's these amazing ruins. So people kind of go to explore the ruins right on Lake Titicaca. Some people stay the night. Um, but this dispute between the islands over the amount of tourists each get means that the South Island have stopped people walking over to the north to have a look at all these ruins and it's inaccessible to tourists. So you can go to the South Island, which I think people think is worthwhile a visit, but um, if I'm completely honest, I wasn't that fussed. Um, <laughs> they completely screwed themselves over, really, with that. Um, it's a loss loss for them, so I don't know. It's a, it's a disappointing for us because we would have enjoyed that walk. I think mum and dad, did you not do that? No, no they did, yeah. They watched yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, God, that was so good. So hopefully we haven't missed out on too much, um, but you know, we've done a lot of walks. So what well, was really nice because we watched the sunset um, from a, a rooftop bar over Lake Titicaca. Is that another photo? Yeah. Did you get a photo? Yes, yes. Got several. No, just one. Oh. <laughs> Um, and uh, so that was nice. And then the next day, I decided to head onto La Paz. I'm baking. It's really hot now. I'm really hot. I don't know where to sit. They don't care about that. I'm trying to get in the shade. Well, so I, I quite enjoyed Copacabana. Sorry. That's I, right. I, I quite liked it. It was, it was, it. It was a small town, and uh, it was it was almost beach like. It was on a lake. It had uh, all of the you know mod cons and restaurants being on the beach. It had a nice sunset. I quite I quite like that. When the um, sun set there, I, I was quite ill. It was freezing. Yeah, we were at this rooftop bar together, this was before I left. And the sun set, we were there, I was in shorts, flip flops, really like enjoying the sun. And it went like that behind the horizon. And I was absolutely, I, it just, the temperature just, just dropped like that. And I was just shivering uncontrollably. Well, we were playing cars, weren't we? And we had to stop halfway through because you couldn't. I couldn't can play. I was. Yeah. The cars, it was awful. And we went it's home and I put on use. all of my layers and I still couldn't get the cold out. You were cold to the boat, weren't you? To the core. The boat. The boat works. Cold to the core. Um, <laughs> you are a planet. Skeletons must be <laughs> freezing. What's that? Skeletons must be really cold. No, your skin. <laughs> I don't know. We never one bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> um, so 
Jesus. Okay, because I got I went ahead. I wanted to spend a bit more time in La Paz as well because I had a, I've got a, a three day uh, walk planned. So I probably had more time in La Paz, so I wanted to make sure I saw it and stuff before uh, we no, both didn't. left for, for here. Got on a bus across the 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 yeah, river. You had to go, yeah, so you had to because the lake's so huge. Going around it would be uh, ridiculous. So they they take the bus across the lake on a big. It's like a raft. Raft, yeah, and then you get on this little separate boat, and but you have to get off the bus because it's unsafe to go across on the bus. Which, bearing in mind, had all of our belongings on it, so you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get off because it's not safe because the bus might tip over into the water, but all my stuff's on it. <laughs> yeah, the thing off. is, it was just this flat raft, and it and it it, it didn't look very stable because it's very <laughs> it's very top heavy with the bus on. Yeah, the bus uh, was like this. Some people stayed on my bus at the back because they didn't want to pay the two Bolivianos, which is twenty five p twenty p. To get on the boat, they they risk their lives for twenty p. Is it twenty p? Twenty p. Yeah. And then into La Paz. So uh, first impressions, you oh sort of make a gradual ascent, but not really. The, the Lake Titicaca is almost at the same altitude as the the top of La Paz. Yeah, if you think you're going, because you've like what I thought is because there's a death road leading up to the La Paz. I thought that was the only route to go to the city. I thought La Paz was on a plinth. And the city was on top. I did as well. And and you have to go on the death road to get there. And they've created a new road. Like but a it's not. It's it's, it's 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 a flat running to La Paz. Um, and then La Paz. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, La Paz is in a bowl. Yeah, like a yeah, basin. Uh, yeah. Bowl. <laughs> um, <laughs> So you arrive at the crest of the basin bowl. Oh, I wish I would have got uh, some footage because I, when I was leaving on the bus from here at night, I had all the lights and things. Well, we've got a little video. So, uh, f uh, first day that we were together in La Paz, we did a, a, a day tour. Woo Woo <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're in La Paz, the beautiful capital of Bolivia. It's huge, uh, it's completely different to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be flat. And uh, no, I thought it was going to be like really steep and on a plinth. Um, it's not. So it's definitely it, mate. It's all, it's all flat. It's in a bowl, pretty much. Yeah. Surrounded by mountains. So, so we're having a little sightseeing day today. Um, Bro's planned uh, an entire trip yeah. for us today. He's, he's doing cap walking tours. It's a little plan. Um, we missed the free walking tour. Uh, the city. So we just came out of the rain. Yeah, that's what we like. Seasoned travellers now. Why pay for a tour when you can do it yourself? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, we sort of missed on the the actual agency tour. Um, we tried to find them, but. Well, we turned up a bit. Well, what were they called? Red hat something? I didn't see any red, red hats. Red cap. Didn't see any. It wasn't any, no. His ST card is full, he's unprepared. So in the past, we just, uh, did uh, what all tourists do when you go there, is do the uh, death road. What's that you got there? A t-shirt. Got it the other day. What did it say? Uh, death road uh, survivor. God, you must have had to pay a lot to get that. No, free. Oh, you just completed the death road? I just completed it, I got the t-shirt for free, yeah. Whoa. The death road, uh, traditionally, is labelled as because it was the one road, to, the main road to get into La Paz. And you had traffic going both ways, and it is a hideous road. It's like single traffic, all along this cliff face, rubble. Well, not anymore. Like, it's not tarmac or anything, is it? It's all like rubble, loose yeah. paving, and... Waterfall, running water going through. I just can't believe that this was the main road to get to La Paz. It's, People uh, died. What, what was the statistic? It was like... Thousands. What, well, out, out of... Out uh, of... If it, it said you had a... Was it? No. If you had about 100 buses, then you had like a 90... What? Okay, so you had about 96%. I'm, I'm going to go with something like that because... 96% chance of survival, which sounds like a lot, but if you have 100 buses, then four of them are dead, you know? Yeah, and how many people can you get on a bus? You do the maths. So it's, yeah, absolutely crazy, but we, we, we smashed it and we bobbed it down. Yeah, um, mountain bikes, really cold. 
because it's quite foggy <laughs> and um, we have to like properly layer up. Yeah, pouring it down with rain. Yeah, it rained all day, which um, I mean, you just have to sort of get over it. But mountain biking was really fun, quite fast. I, I don't understand, like none of that. So we weren't with an agency yet, but none of the agencies, their bikes had mud guards. I don't understand. Yeah, but I don't understand that because we had the same thing with me and Banyos and we did that that yeah, waterfall did. tour. They don't have like mud guards. You know what? Them, Somebody would make a killing in South America if they set up a shop that sold mud guards. Get on it. Patent. Get on it. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was like typically like rain and then all the mud came up into your face when you were riding down. So you wanted to go fast, but you don't want to go too fast because the faster you go. Yeah, well we, we had a stop off where most people take photos because it's quite normally quite a good scene, but it's quite misty when we were there. We took a video and you can have a look at it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Alright. UK fans. Well, actually all fans from all over the world. It's a bit misty, isn't it? Um, a bit misty. We've uh, just been cycling down the, um, the death road in La Paz. On Pretty death-like. Like. Pretty death-like. Got some mud in your face because it's raining. Um, it's a bit misty today, a bit, a bit foggy. You can't really see too much at the moment <laughs> in the way of views, really. Which is good. Maybe. Well, maybe, maybe. I don't it's quite a steep edge, I think. Quite enjoying it. Quite enjoying it at the moment. It's a, it's a, it's very gravelly, so uh, my hands are hurting a little bit. Yeah, it's like all the way down. Um, but it's good fun. And uh, no, nobody else has to wear helmets, but he's got to protect protect the eggs. <laughs> No, no. He's got to have one. Uh, um, yeah, so we'll well, everyone's right, it's photo time with the group, so we've got to go. We'll um, slot them into the video, though, when we're done. <laughs> so uh, that kind of ended our La Paz experience. We went to some really great like restaurants. Um, Cafe Del Mundo, that was a very Cafe good one. Cafe Del Mundo, yeah. Lovely. Been there about three times now. And uh, Bro then came on to where we are now, Sucre. And um, I went off and did uh, a three day mountain trek. Are you going to do a video of that? I'm going to do a video of that separately, yeah. Okay. They don't include it in this one. No, 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 definitely not. It's too long. All right. So that was the Paz. First, uh, first experience of Bolivia. And we loved it. What's the, what, what do you say? What's the. What's the uh... Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> why, why are you saying that for? <laughs> Uh, hasta luego, amigo. I think it means see you again. See you later. Okay. There we go. Bye bye.